Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to True Christian Church. <coughs> I just want to thank everybody for coming to attend here today. Thank you, Brother Charlie, and your family. Thank you, Pastor, for having us. I just feel right now, I feel safe in a multitude of counselors. I feel like there's no spirit. Come on. Mm -hmm. I feel like there's no spirit right now that can hurt me. Yes, right. And I don't have to say a word. Yes, right. Because I got, there's, there are people in this room that are pillars in the faith. Mm -hmm. True shepherds. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I got a four minute thing. Uh -huh. I was speaking with a chaplain today who attends this church. And he told me, he told me today that the Bible says that if we falsely accuse others, mm. the devil is our father. Mm. And he said, Joe, how can we say that God is our father if we falsely accuse others? Mm. And he explained to me, he said, <laughs> I, he woke up today with text messages of people who were saying things about him and spreading lies about him. Mm. And the first thing I did, I, the first thing I did was I apologized to him. I said, if I have ever falsely accused you, or anybody in this church, I, I, I apologize and I am sorry. And I assured him that I love him with the love of Christ. I am not a Bible teacher in my calling. That's not my calling. I said, but the answer to that question is evident. That we must bury the old man and the old nature that is trying to come back to life and cause us to falsely accuse one another. I said the answer to that is we need to put that man to death. All right. Amen. Amen. He said the Bible says that we are to mark those which cause the vision. Amen. And I agreed. I said, but we should not mark others to be marked of others. Everybody's marking each other. Amen. I'm a marked man in Ocala. I can't go certain places because they know about me. Right. And I'm sure that's 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 true for a lot of different people here. And I said, we got to purge ourselves of the flesh so we can be a vessel unto honor. Right. And, I, you know, the, the chaplain I'm talking about is not here today because he woke up under attack and that attack kept him from the house of God I wish he was here because I would tell him like I'm going to tell you I charge you in the sight of God that we should not strive about to words of no profit but we should study to show thyself approved shun vain babblings because it proceeds to ungodliness and I tell you here today that everybody that made the name of the Lord depart from iniquity saying that if we if we be dead with him that we shall also live with him Amen. and if we suffer we shall also reign with him right. and today an elder of the church named David Hughes who lives far away told me to tell the true Christian church here that Jesus is as close as the mention of his name in your darkest hour yes when nobody's dancing when yes. nobody's praying Amen. when nobody's shouting for joy Amen. if you would just mention the name yes. of Jesus yes. Yes. he is there willing to deliver you yes. 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 and he also says that he loves us and he sends our pastor appreciation yes Amen. Yes. Amen. 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 